Boston was on the verge of going up 3-1, up 94-90 with 5:18 left in the fourth quarter before Stephen Curry stole Friday night's headlines by carrying Golden State to a dominant comeback. We broke down Steph's wizardry in this channel's last two videos, and rightfully so, but not enough people are talking about the dub's second most important player in these playoffs with his shot creation and defense on the wing in Andrew Wiggins. In Game 4 of the NBA Finals, two-way Wiggs posted 17 points, drained two triples, but more crucially, hauled down a beastly 16 boards and made up for the backside defense, usually provided by Draymond, who was benched for most of the fourth, although Green checked back in late and was underrated in the clutch with a game-saving O rebound, assist, and stop. We're going to go into the film room with Wiggins, then look at how the Warriors stagnated Boston's offense in the dying minutes, flexing championship experience that's coming in handy. Of course, the chef's putting the dubs on his back, as in these 2022 NBA Finals, Steph Curry has 137 points on 50% shooting, while the rest of the Warriors combined have 176 points on 39% shooting. With that being said, the dubs wouldn't have stolen back home court advantage without the perimeter clamps, board getting, and overall execution from underrated members in Curry's supporting cast. A Wiggins breakdown is coming up, but shockingly, last summer's free agency acquisition in the stretch big Nemanja Bjelica is giving Warriors coach Steve Kerr one of his best options to slow down Boston's top player. Entering Game 5 of the Finals down in San Francisco, when guarded by Nemanja Bjelica, Jason Tatum's yet to make a field goal, shooting 0 for 5 from distance while turning the ball over four times. Being fair, Tatum's visibly struggling with a shoulder injury, and not just Nemi, but the entire Warriors defense as a whole has done one hell of a job collectively keying in on Jason. JT's 34.1% shooting in these finals would go down as the lowest by any player with 20 plus attempts per game in a final series ever. For that effort to contain Tatum, the combination of aggressiveness and reach from Golden State's 2020 trade steal, a player who they got in exchange for D'Angelo Russell and Andrew Wiggins, deserves some credit. Back in Game 3, the Warriors were heavily out-rebounded, but Game 4 saw Steph, Wiggs, Draymond, and Looney each grab at least 9 rebounds. That was the first time four players had 9-plus boards in an NBA Finals game since the Heat won Game 6 of the 06 Finals 16 years ago. Displaying why he was made a first overall draft pick, it was Andrew's freaky standing vertical jump and improved strength which made him a nightmare for Celtic big men to box out. Wiggins posted the first 15 point and 15 rebound stat line in these playoffs since the reigning finals MVP and Giannis way back in the second round. In the biggest game of the season, Wiggins led all Warrior starters in plus minus, as the Warriors were a plus 20 when Air Canada stepped on the court. Early on, keeping Golden State around with his scoring punch, a give-and-go dribble handoff sees Looney set a typically sound big body, Marcus Smart mistakenly go under it, and Wiggins transition from a hezzy move into a savvy pull-up three-pointer. Gary Payton fakes the dub's patented play on the right wing as Wiggins receives the ball in the post, but instead of going into a split action, Andrew backs down the smaller Derek White, plants his right pivot foot, twisting around to create all the space he requires for a contested baseline fadeaway. Again, Tatum's struggling with that shoulder, but the effort to crowd his airspace and cut off his dominant side gets the Canadian a stop, and with Robert Williams III flying in, also give Wiggins credit for staying there for the board, poking it loose with his active hands. Next possession down, he switches onto Derek White after Tatum quickly gives it up, presses up with his lead foot to stop White's momentum, then he flies back into position and leads Derek right into the help of Draymond Green. Flawless activity. It's that stick to itiveness to still give an effort even after being initially beat, which is so impressive from Andrew. For example, he fails to get the steal right here and is caught way out of position. Give credit to Clay for picking up, but Andrew rotates right back to sandwich Tatum on the shot with Thompson, playing a part in the miss bolting back in transition and not breaking the code, but laying a clean hard foul on Horford. That's good playoff basketball right there to make Horford earn two points at the charity stripe. But then he got right back to forcing embarrassing misses on Celtic attackers, as he does on Derek White right here. But most insanely is how Wiggs starts a one-man fast break, 
taking it coast to coast after one of his 16 boards. Running an inverted split action with Draymond dishing it from the top of the key instead of the post, here's where Andrew's footwork comes in handy offensively. This play shows off his feel for the game. A nifty cutback door leads to a catch, spin move, and teardrop all in one motion. Back to the glass though, where his basketball instincts make Andrew well aware that long shot equals long rebound as he tracks down the rock and bounces it away from Jalen Brown. Next, he boxes out Robert Williams for a tough board in traffic. Then he grabs his own miss and goes back up like he's Giannis with a beastly finish. How about another O board as Wiggins outsprings the Time Lord after a Jordan Poole miss? And to cap it off, as Derek White tries to sneak in from the strong side to poke it away, Andrew goes up like Superman to bring this ball off the glass. Making history, this game saw Wiggins become one of four non-big men over the last 30 years next to Kobe, LeBron, and Kawhi to grab 15 rebounds in a finals game. Decent company. On the other side for Boston, after going up four with just over half of the fourth quarter having wound down, Boston's final possessions consisted of the following results. A Jalen Brown shot from the mid-range, a Jalen Brown missed three-pointer, a Jason Tatum missed three, a Marcus Smart missed three, an Al Horford miss followed by a Big Al make, a Jalen Brown turnover, and a Derek White missed three. Boston's offense consistently settled for deep range shots with plenty of time left on the shot clock to work with, and while a big part of that was self-inflicted, Draymond Green, Kevon Looney, and the mix of reach, athleticism, and lateral quickness from the aforementioned Andrew Wiggins were Golden State stoppers who undeniably had an impact with their versatility and high motors. The Celtics in the clutch since the Nets series have a 3-5 record. They're posting a 24-21 shooting split with a 5-7 assist to turnover ratio. They're also a minus 22. In the Celtics' last five minutes, specifically in Game 4, they unacceptably scored three points, went one for eight from the field, one of seven from three, and were outscored 17 to three. But for the Warriors, outside of Wiggins, who deserves the third amount of praise for Golden State's Game 4 W? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top five commenters by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise this summer. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Shout out to Boston Haltane who says, this series has been all about who's on the boards and who's in control of them. That's why Andrew Wiggins deserves to be called the second most valuable player for the Warriors in Game 4. Maple Jordan was all over the glass with 16 rebounds, as well as a solid 17 points with two trays. Because of Curry's epic game, Wiggins' night was placed more in the shadows, but that's the player A. Wiggs has become. He's not obsessed with the stats anymore, he just wants to win. This game, winning meant crashing the glass, hitting some buckets, and playing some hard-nosed defense, and he did just that, and the Dubs came out with the win. That's why Wiggs was definitely the second most valuable player for the Dubs in Game 4. Appreciate every single answer. I hope you guys have a great one. DFlow signing off.